Valentino giving me suits, gangsta. Bronze Capo. I'm respectfully checking back in, Discretion TV. 21 Gun Salute. Yasmin Fula, I want to thank you for putting the truth out of Gaddafi. The book is available on Amazon. Thank you for tapping in. We're talking about Napoleon. Your name is all in the police mouth when we last left off. Why is Napoleon's name in the police report? That's what we left off. I told y'all. We gonna salute Gaddafi and get down to the bottom of this whole fucking shit. The shit that was left out. So basically, Sharif, who gave the statement to the police when they asked them about Napoleon. You see, Sharif, is Roddy's cousin, Rashard Clark. Rashard Clark, a.k.a. Roddy, Napoleon's cousin. If you've been following my live shows, please be on point with it. Add on. Yeah. So, everybody call him Roddy. The police know him as... Rashard well, Clark, who's now serving time for one or two more murders. We're going to dig deeper. Napoleon's name came up in the police report. And I told y'all we're going to dig deep in this book. Thank you, Yasmin Fula, the queen. Free Dr. Matula Shakur, 21 Gun Salute. The police asked Sharif Clark, who was the murderer, the murderer's brother, is this the first time that you learned that your brother Roddy shot Yak? He said, yeah. Which is a lie. This is a blatant lie. Do you have any relatives that live in East Orange? I don't know about that. Do you know Muta Bill? Yeah. How do you know Mr. Bill? That's my cousin. Now we all know Napoleon, his real name is Muta Bill. And yes, I know they call him Napoleon. I told y'all I'll call him Napoleon now. 21 gun salute. The police ask, when was the last time you saw Mr. Bill? You see, Napoleon, you got a lot of nerve. You be on these platforms and your fucking name is in the police mouth. And your fucking name was carrying throughout the police mouth. Thank you, thank you Yasmin. I want to thank you. Again, this is Essex County Prosecutor's Office. Napoleon keep running his fucking mouth. Chasing clout using Pac name. Using Yak name. Lies in every fucking interview. Just like your fucking cousins. Because this is a blatant lie. Because we all know. In the book. That part. It tells you that. This question that the police asked him. Is this the first time that you learned that your brother Roddy shot Yak? And he said, yeah. You know, LaVey Johnson threw him under the bus when she said, and if they do their research and real police work, on page, what was it, 104? 
On page 104, if I'm not mistaken, LaVey Johnson said she called Sharif. Right? Rashad State's co-defendant, Nadir Way, was there fooling around wrestling with the victim, which is Yak. In the statement from LaVey Johnson, she said she, she says she called Rashad's home looking for him, who's the murderer of Gaddafi. She called his home looking for him. After the shooting, she states his brother Sharif, who threw Napoleon's alley-oop through the police and agreed that he did see Napoleon. This shit crooked. This shit is fucking scandalous. She states... His brother Sharif answered the phone and Sharif told LaVey that Rashad says Nadir had Yaki in a chokehold when Rashad shot him. So all this lying that he did here in his interview about is this the first time he heard about the shooting and all that about Yaki was a blatant fucking lie. Napoleon, I told you. Stop fucking around. You want to play with Pac's name? You want to play with Yak's name? You want to speak for Yasmin Fuller? I told y'all, get this book. Don't let Napoleon fool you because no cap. The family has yet to tell their side of the story. All we hear is Napoleon. Wow. I want to take it back to Sharif's statement where he threw Napoleon low-key under the bus. See, why your name is always coming up in some fuck shit, Napoleon, low-key, ever since 9-6? You can't escape this shit. Is this what you're running away from? Where's Sharif at? Is this what Muta Bill running away from? Here you go, Sharif Lad. Right? In the statement, is this the first time that you learned that your brother Roddy shot Yak? He said, yeah. But here, he told. LaVey that Rashad says Nadir and Yaki Nadir had Yak in a chokehold when Rashad shot him. And again, I'm not trying to see nobody in jail that don't belong in fucking jail. You understand? There's a lot of people belong in jail. The son of Sam. You understand? There's a lot of people don't belong around society. And now we found out that Rashad, the murderer of Yak, met Pac at the 1996 MTV Awards. Thanks to this book, I told y'all, get the book. Because as we break it down on Discretion TV, y'all can add on. We're going to support this family to get the truth out about Yak. Napoleon, he keep running his mouth using Pac name, co-signing with Fat Joe. You know, lying about the East Coast, West Coast, adding on to the genocide. Is this why you left? Because your name is in these police reports? If this is the real truth why Napoleon left, his name is all in these police reports. Why would the police ask for you? You got nothing to do with the murder, right? Of Yak. Can we make sense out of this? Why would the police ask in an interview 
Somebody that allegedly don't got nothing to do with the murder of Yak. Is this why Yasmin Fula said you read no police reports? You did no research on your own? Man, I pray this family gets the answers and closures they need. Because here on Discretion TV, we not capping. You know, with all the research that we did on our own, and for Napoleon being the traitor that he is, he went overseas to condemn hip-hop and condemn the, the United States music or any kind of genre of music in the United States. It's sad and pathetic when he made a living off of it. He was helping Jimmy IV. Now we got... Now we got to look out and Tom Wiley got such Shakur money so she can't take care of the family and take care of Pac's legacy the right way. You don't hear Napoleon standing up. Is this why his name is all in the fucking police reports? I can't make this shit up. 21 gun salute. Valentino giving me shoes, gangsta.